Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happened. Nintendo has finally finally released Super Nintendo games onto the Nintendo Online application. Now, it does appear to be its own app, so the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo games are technically separated. When you get the application, it's two Super Nintendo uh, controllers, and that's just basically it. You go into the Super Nintendo one, play the Super Nintendo games, Nintendo is its separate app. Uh, but they hit us with quite a few games and we're going to go over a few here and we're going to play even one online to see how the connection is now if we quickly look over all of the games here we have brawl brothers breath of fire demon's crest f-zero pilot wings kirby's dreamland 3 kirby's dream course joe and mac 2 star fox stunt race fx earth defense force super ghouls and ghosts super metroid yoshi's island super mario world mario kart uh that's puya puya i believe uh super soccer super tennis and then of course Zelda A Link to the Past. And I figure we would go over a few here, but let's start with the classic. Let's start with Mario World, because this is a game that most people are probably going to jump right into, and I am using my 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus, mostly because uh, it does an awesome job, of course, simulating a Super Nintendo controller with still having the grips on it, so I figured why not. And it does also have the ZL and uh, ZR buttons available. Keep in mind, though, they will be doing its own release for uh, Super Nintendo, uh, a Super Nintendo controller for $30. No word that I've seen yet on when that comes out. But they do still have the features which include rewind, so you can uh, hold to rewind if you want, like that. And you go through different slides backwards till you find a point, or you can suspend, and then you can go back to the game menu, you can reset and all of that. So basically, what we've already been doing with the uh, Nintendo control, or Nintendo games. So here we go, we're going to play a little bit of Mario here, and then we'll try out some other games. Super Mario World, of course, being a classic. And we're kind of to that point now where I'm feeling better about having that uh, that $20 for this, but I still think the online service is, is something that needs improvement, obviously, but this does make it sting a bit less for that $20. I mean, think about it this way, the Super Nintendo Classic uh, has a, a similar number of games, right? And that's $80, so this this is not bad, I'll admit. And this is what we've all been asking for, Super Nintendo games. Uh, looking at it, though, it looks good on the on the screen. I'm playing on a 4K monitor. It feels good, too. It's not uh, sluggish or anything. Uh, they've done a pretty good job with their emulation. I'm curious about Star Fox. That's one that's kind of interesting to see how that plays, you know? To see if it has, like, a, uh, like a similar slowdown. I don't play a lot of the first Star Fox, but I do remember it on the Super Nintendo and renting it way back in the day. Thought it looked great, didn't think it controlled particularly well, but uh, it was still pretty fun to check out. Uh, they didn't do Star Fox 2 though, and uh, that was on that data mined list that's pretty accurate. So maybe that's something that would be showing up uh, in the future. So we did a little bit of Mario World here. Let's jump back. Uh, obviously to do that, we just go to the game selection, boom, and we're back. Let's uh, let's jump into Yoshi's Island. I loved Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island was such a good game back in the day. Uh, that used uh, as what super its its own super effects chip, from what I remember. So let's go to file two, and uh, it looked obviously it looked really really good. But let me get through this opening menu here. This was amazing when it when it first came out. It looked great for the Super Nintendo first of all, and it was a different idea where at the time. We were used to just playing as like Mario and then Yoshi was like a side character technically. So when this came out and Yoshi was technically like the main character, several Yoshis, it was pretty awesome. You'd throw eggs and everything, but I do remember baby Mario was just really, really annoying at the time. So let me uh, let me go through here. This is a good one for them to drop on here though, because it's just, it's just a fantastic game. Welcome to Yoshi's Island and we're in. Again, this looks good. The text does have that, that, uh, 8-bit kind of look to it, whereas other other uh, emulators and stuff will have filters and everything, but I also don't like those, uh, the, uh, the notifications on the bottom, but it looks, it looks good. It looks really good on the, on the monitor right now, uh, and, and you know, I expected, there's Super Nintendo games. The real challenge would be, of course, Nintendo 64 games. That's going to be the weird one. Like, how would they tackle that if they go that far? Because we're already to the point now where we have another system, right? So we assume they're going to go even further. They really want you to rewind. There we go. Uh, so we assume we are going to uh, get another system, which tells me that Nintendo 64, although they could do Game Boy. 
Game Boy is probably the easy one to go with. Uh, I don't know how many people would get overly excited for Game Boy unless one of the big ones they showed up with was uh, Oracle of Seasons or Ages, because we're already getting Link's Awakening as a uh, as a as like a remake. So I don't know how excited people would be for that necessarily. Uh, so there we go. We can also use uh, you can also use of course the joysticks or the D-pad or anything if you want in here. Uh, but boom, there we go. Man, it's been. I mean, it was on the, what, the classic and everything, and I remember playing more of Yoshi's Island, and just such a good game. Uh, good good stuff, though, to have this added in, I will say that. So, uh, it looks good. Plays fine. Definitely want to check out if you, if, you, uh, if you didn't play this back in the day. If you're a little younger and you're just now going through some of this stuff, definitely worth checking this out. All right, now let's jump over. Uh, Sean and I are going to play Super Tennis Online and see how that goes with a simultaneous, like an online connection. We're actually playing against each other simultaneously. Sean, have you ever played Super Tennis before? No, man. All right, good. I haven't really played it either, so this will be funny. Uh, Super Tennis is, I think, a good game to try out the online for because it's... I mean, it's it's as like straight up as it gets, you know. One person on one side of the court, the other person on the other. How do I? Oh, you, I think I guess you you pick first. So go ahead, you do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be Steve. You're Steve. I, I'm gonna. That go doesn't with, look uh... like a Steve. <laughs> I, I would not think that was a Steve. I will be Yuka. I'm gonna go Yuka. Let's see how. Okay. Look at this intergender <laughs> tennis. This is it. Uh, lawn. All right, cool. See, this is this is cool because this is like that. It has that 3D kind of look, the Mode Seven look there when they do that turn. All right. Yeah. So I uh, okay. You're you're okay. You're serving, and I'm at the top. I don't know what button is. Okay, A, A. I think it's. Oh wow, this is this is kind of solid. It's it's honestly not terrible. Like I would. Oh. oh. Like the it doesn't feel very like you know how we I think when the NES games oh. for. <laughs> I think when the NES games first came out, I remember it having some lag to it. Is that just, oh. man? I am okay. Uh, I remember it having some lag to it. This no, it definitely did. It doesn't, but this doesn't feel bad at it, all. It is peer to peer though. Why can't I serve on this side? It is peer to peer, so maybe it's just because we both have good internet. Uh, uh, oh, I missed that. Uh, <laughs> I think I think a a swings. I don't know if B. I'm I'm afraid to hit B or X. Or, okay, no, B does do something. Maybe that's I have only used. I've only used A this entire time. <laughs> and I'm oh, dominating. Oh. Well, right through me. Oh, I still have lost. Yeah. <laughs> Change court. See, people so, are really going to get so, into super tennis. What are you saying? Well, we should have played this on my video. And we should have oh, yeah. Mario Kart <laughs> yeah, on check your out, video. Yeah, check out Sean's video where he played Mario Kart. <laughs> A real test of skill. <laughs> it didn't go great. Oh, Oof. no. I used to play a lot of um, virtual tennis on the dream. Well, virtual tennis was awesome. Though. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> virtual tennis was amazing though. Everyone liked virtual. Oh. oh no. Everyone liked virtual tennis though. It was so good. Those dreamcast sports games are just amazing. Oh yeah. Paint that line. There we oh. go. <laughs> oh, it even still has the lines like when it moves. Oh wow. They did a pretty solid job emulating this. this yeah. This I'm looks uh, good. I'm oh, pleasantly wow, surprised. I need to play more. Yeah, Super Tennis might not be my thing. <laughs> I am. Oh, is that nice going to say? Ace? It didn't say Ace. Didn't give me the credit. That's fine. That's fine. You know, that's, that's all good. Oh, wow, that was out. That was out. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> See, I'm getting the hang of the serve now. See that? That was out. Uh. Uh. Oh no, oh. the net! <laughs> I don't know how that went. I'm actually. St I want to see a replay on that <laughs> that last one. Oh man, that was like dead on the line. Too. No, no, no! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh, he got Taking it. it home, baby. Taking it home. I'm gonna give Wait, you that one. We're we're good. You you, you got I, you won three out of five. That was that was a yeah. good match. That was a good match. Uh, Sean takes uh, wins three games to two. Uh, that was that was fun. You know what? Super Tennis Online is responsive. I have to say, and it controls well. So I, yes, I agree. So far, so good. I'd say on some of these online games. Make sure you check out Sean's channel where uh, we played Mario Kart because that was that was and pretty I, fun too. It didn't go well for me. <laughs> it didn't go well, but <laughs> but it was fluid. And I have to say, the online compared to when the NES games dropped, so far anyway, has been pretty good. So you guys probably figured I was gonna do Link to the Past because it is one of my favorite games ever. Like ever ever this is still my favorite zelda game and i know to some people it's it's blasphemy because of uh things like ocarina of time or more recently something like breath of the wild but something about this game and it could be because 
I grew up with it, so it's a game that I remember very fondly. But I do think that you can go back now and have an amazing time with it. I think the 16-bit era still holds up. I think it holds up definitely over the 32-bit era when they tried to do a lot of 3D stuff. Like, if you go back and try to play uh, Ocarina of Time on a Nintendo 64 now, you might not have the greatest time because of the frame rate and the way it looks and everything. The, the way this game looks, performs, plays, the dungeons and everything really set the standard for the series. Uh, and I will admit Breath of the Wild changed that all up. But, I mean, Ocarina of Time completely follows this formula still that this set up. Uh, and I just, this game is awesome. Everyone needs to play this game. I really hope that more people who missed this, because I know there's going to be a younger audience that plays these games for the first time. I do hope they give this game a chance uh, and check it out because there is a massive game here. Some people are probably going to play this game, see the first three dungeons in the light world, think that's the entire game, and I hope they get mind blown like I did when we had to go to the dark world and there were seven more dungeons to do. Like, that was such a, a like a trip, you know, like when to realize that the game just started when you went to the dark world, because I thought I was at the end of the game. Like most of us probably did, like, in, you know, in the 90s when it came out. Uh, no, you were just you were just getting started. But yeah, this, this is pretty awesome. Just like the look of this game and everything still completely holds up, plays great. This is one that you should fire up if you never played it right away. Okay, next up, we're into Star Fox. Uh, not the biggest Star Fox fan of like the, the original one like this. Uh, I was a big fan of Star Fox 64 right? Star Fox and N64 was outstanding. Uh, it looks like it still runs like the Super Nintendo version where it didn't have a super high frame or anything. To me, it runs very similar to the uh, Super Nintendo Classic. So think of like that. If you played it on there, uh, it does look better, I would say, than the Super Nintendo, but of course it's emulating that and going through HDMI and everything with the Switch. And yes, it. I mean, it looks fine. It's Star Fox, so I have a feeling the current generation is going to uh, be like, uh, you know, looking at this, but this is, I mean, this is 3D where we started, you know, but I understand a lot of people aren't going to be spending in a, like a ton of time with this thing, but still, still really cool to check it out. And I want to finish up with a game that I never really got into, but I remember just absolutely destroying these cartridges back in the day when we would make different games. This is the game you would get uh, because it was, it was set up really well, uh, if I remember right, to make Star Fox 2. I think this was it. Sunracer FX is the first time it's been released other than on the Super Nintendo itself. And this is another one of those games where it did 3D for like, like this was like back in the day, right? This was back on the 16-bit platform and it was a big deal because it used the companion chip similar to what we just saw with Star Fox. But this was done with a racing game and I know the Genesis had its own style games like this where it was 3D and everything technically using polygons. But it was it was pretty awesome to see them trying to push the hardware this hard. I never got into this game, but I know a lot of people did and they even put the FX on the end for like the Super FX chip or whatever, Stunt Racer FX. Uh, another interesting one that people should check out simply because of the history, but I do think this one, probably more so over Star Fox, I think has a bit more value nowadays. Look, Star Fox is cool and all, but it doesn't perform overly well. This is actually kind of fun, so I would I would look at this from what I've been playing so far and say, yeah, Sun Racer might be worth checking out for fun. Uh, but still, really need to see them push. Oh wow, look at the Nintendo sign. Really need to see them push these these kind of this kind of hardware and these visuals back in the 90s. And that's a quick look at the Super Nintendo games that are now available. You can check them out on uh, on the the Super Nintendo app now. Uh, it should be popping up. If it hasn't, if you go on the Nintendo website and you just set it to download because it's up there, you should be fine and you can uh, you can just start playing right away. Uh, there's still some other games to check out. I know Sean's gonna do one of these videos as well, and I think he's checking out a couple games that I didn't, uh, but definitely worth worth a look there if you just want to kind of get a rundown on them, and hey, it's exciting stuff now going forward because we have no idea what Super Nintendo game will be added next month, and it could be anything. It could be one Super Nintendo game, one a Nintendo game, for example. It could be two Super Nintendo games, and I know Mega Man's been released on, like, everything now, Mega Man X, for example, but you could throw that in here for anyone who didn't get the X collection or anything like that, uh, but... A lot of cool stuff. Maybe they get Final Fantasy 3. 
they get Final Fantasy 3. That's going to be big time right there. That That's good. That's good stuff. But thanks guys for watching. Make sure you like the video if, if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think about the Super Nintendo games are a little more sold now on the online service because they just dropped 20 Super Nintendo games on there. Let me know guys down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.